Hit it. All right, just for playing along as we do a little 10 minute drill of sports concepts and rationalizations, you can be a winner. And we'll take caller number X at the end of the segment and we will give away a little uh, bit of X, a prize. X pack. is a letter. Yeah. Uh, B, it could what be we, 10, though. What are we giving away? Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the end of the segment. One lucky Guggen's going to get a free entree from our friends at Sonny's Barbecue, plus Yummy. a $20 gift card to Zips Express Car Wash. They've got seven area locations to serve you, including one in Orange Park. Wow. All right, uh, Dan Hicken, it's uh, the season of discontent ended with a pretty newsworthy, I thought, um, postseason news conference by Doug Marone. And a lot of the other things have been talked about, but you know what I heard What'd maybe hear? loudest? What did you hear? Uh, maybe this is why I've liked Doug Marone so so much for so long, as I think we think alike on some things. But I'm glad to see some from somebody from the NFL say, yeah, you know what, it is important to be there with your team. Mm-hmm. It is important at OTAs that everyone's here, and there's not two or three that think they're above it. I'm interested in seeing how that plays out, but kind of lost in the nuances of, Coaching firings and Leonard Fournette was a declaration by Leonard by by Doug Marone. We expect our guys to be here for everything voluntary and mandatory. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know what? Obviously, that's going to be a stickler coming up because I think that somebody won't be there if somebody doesn't have a new deal. <laughs> and I don't right. think, and I don't think that somebody can have a new deal. I think there's way too many things that they have to take care of before they even get to that point. Which is Jalen um, Ramsey is yeah, yeah yeah. I mean that's pretty obvious. So we'll we'll see. Um, how that kind of goes, look, control was lost, however you want to look at it, but it, it can't go through another year like that. We can get hung up on culture. I, I'm not a, the culture stuff. It was okay when they were winning, wasn't it? Yeah. Same that, group of guys. Yeah. That's what I mean. And it was the same. It, everything's covered up when you win. It's just the way it is. Sure. There's everybody has in, in a group, of, in a group of NFL football players, 53 strong. There's going to be a lot of stuff. Okay. That's for sure. Uh, Good and bad. And when you're winning, it's okay. When you're losing, it gets magnified. Losing makes everything bad magnified. And that's just a fact of life. And, and, And we've been doing this for 24 years. And I've been watching. And the best locker rooms are the ones where they're 14 and 2. Or 10 and 6. And, that's the truth. and the worst ones are where they're 2 and 14. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, and we can go back through the years. We can look at the free a- and the free agent signings. The best one, you know, uh, the, 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 the Hugh Douglases and Jerry Porters and, of the world and versus the Calais Campbells and A.J. Boyes of the world. So, anyway, uh, they got to figure out how to win first and foremost. And if they win, they'll get things right. But with that said... The train did get off the tracks a little bit too much this year, I think, for for Doug Marone and crew. So, uh, Jeff, you just watched a ton of college football. I did. A lot of bowl games. Um, you got the seventh pick in the draft. Is there anyone besides – is there any other quarterback besides Dwayne Haskins who you would consider taking at that spot? As we sit here now? Yes. With knowledge that I'm By far- the way, Herbert – uh, and Oregon scored seven points against Michigan State. Yeah. Uh, in the in yeah. the in other in words, the, we're not going to tank for Herbert for next year in the saying? bowl game. Yeah. Um, and then I also got I also love the tweet I got from somebody who said get a veteran quarterback now, then draft Trevor Lawrence in two years. Well, then you're suggesting that we're going to be bad in two years oof, because Trevor yeah. Lawrence is going to be a a top five pick. Back to your back to but your, anyway. back to your question. And again, uh, being the guy that without the being able to sit down across the table from Johnny Manziel would have taken Johnny, the football player. Like mm-hmm. to me, Johnny man, Baker Mayfield is what Johnny Manziel was supposed to be in my mind. But yes. so, but that being said, no Haskins is the only, from what I, he's the only guy I would consider at seven. I'm not sure he's worth the seventh pick. I'll leave that to them, right. but uh, no, I'm not. I personally, uh, Will Greer would be my second choice of the lock and Jones and others. And I, I think there's a real possibility, Dan, that outside of, Haskins, that there are a couple or three of those quarterbacks that you would consider are going to be there in round two. The Jags are going to have a, you know, a, a real risky roll of the dice. And it seems like you're damned and you're due if you're damned if you don't. We've seen what reaching for quarterbacks has done to this franchise. It set it back 20 years. First Leftwich, then Gabbert, then Bortles. All three drafted way ahead right. of where they should have gone. Mm-hmm. So I desperately do not want to to – to do that again, I think it's more damaging than playing Blake Bortles for Pete's sake, which we obviously know isn't going to happen. So, no, outside of Haskins, and, and Drew again, Locke, 
Did you see Not, that game at all? Um, I've seen a lot of Drew Locke. I yeah. didn't need to watch the Bulls for him. I haven't seen a lot as much of Haskins. So I like Drew Locke better than you do. You've got the Missouri phobia with Toxicity. him. Toxicity. Yeah, you got you got that Missouri uh, phobia. So I'm okay with you. But Drew Locke, Will Greer, those guys, I don't want to take number seven overall. No way. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we shall see. You know what it is? That, you know what it is is when <laughs> I watch these guys, I feel like they can't miss a pass. You know but, what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I see a little down and out, and I see Haskins can't get him the ball, yeah. and I'm like, holy cow. But, man, I saw a couple of plays, too, last night. I know. I know. He looked off his safety and, and threw that touchdown 20 pass. 20 yards down the seam. Got that little flick of the wrist. And he's and big. Such a big guy, Dan. He's, a big he's, dude. He's not, not as big as you think. He's 6'3". He's not 6'5". Well, he looks bigger than that. He's 6'3", 220. Yeah. And he's well, not, he looks bigger than and that. And he's not a runner. It's amazing. There's no running there. I don't care. I don't yeah. need a runner. And I saw Drew Locke on a fourth and one. Tried to scramble for a yard and get tossed to the, get caught and tossed to the ground. Drew Locke is you scared. I will not make that damn mistake. <laughs> I know, Doug. Drew Locke is Don't scared. You do I, that. Drew Locke scares me just you know gunslinging all over the field and with a good team. You know, intercepting his way into trouble. If yeah, but he didn't throw many picks this okay. year. Okay. Well, well, I'm okay with Drew Locke. I'm Eight not ta- picks. I would never take him seven though. Okay. Now, by the time the draft cycle and pre-cycle is over, then maybe we will. Yeah. There are. I have an interest because you in your in your heart of hearts you want to find that somebody at absolutely. Seven. So you're going to be more willing sure. to overlook the little things. Sure, but I, I mean I just feel like this: if you won't quote reach for Deshaun Watson at four, then you damn well better not reach at seven for somebody worse than him. So the the end of the day, a fair standard for the brass to be held to is if you draft a quarterback at seven, he especially since you may cut the guy you took at four, he better be better than. You know, guys that you would have had to quote reach for last year. That's or in the last couple of years. That's that's one thing that I would say. All right, there are eight openings, Dan. Yeah. Uh, after uh, Bloody Monday in the National Football League, well, let's call it Black Monday, Jeff. A, a couple of uh, taken. You know, a couple of those guys got the axe before the season even ended. So I would ask you this, Dan. Yes. Of the entire pool mm-hmm. of coaches that are available. Yes. That's anyone who is not a coach in the National Football League. Okay. So, in other words, you can't tell me Bill Belichick. Okay. If you were the owner of the Cleveland Browns or the Miami Dolphins or the New York Jets or one of the many, one of the quarter of the teams in the league who has an opening, who would you want as coach? Who would be the top of your list uh, for NFL, uh, to be your NFL coach? Well, that's a great question. And the easy one right off the bat that everybody's going to say is Mike McCarthy. But I tell you what I would and and there's other ones. Uh but I tell you who I tell you who I would want if I was a fan of a team. And the other one the other one that you're going to talk a lot about and deal with is the um is our guy up in New England. Not Belichick, the OC. Oh uh, yeah, Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels. Who people seem to have forgotten did get a head coaching job and didn't exactly Win the Super Bowl. Correct. But everybody thinks he's going to be really good. If I was a fan of a team, though, I, I want my own guy. I want my own guy, so I want to give a shot. Like, I like I would be intrigued by Lincoln Riley. Right. And it may who, not work. Who yesterday, by the way, saw, said he's staying at yeah. Oklahoma with an extension. Yeah. I may want, um, uh, you know, like the special teams guy from Kansas City. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I just want, want – I may want the defensive coordinator from New England, the young kid, Flores, Brian Flores. Chip, chip. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm trying to tell you, I don't want the retreads. I want okay. my own guy. So pick one of those. Which to, one? To my own identity. Top of the list. Lincoln Riley? Uh, you know who my favorite guy is. Uh, Dan Mullen. Herbs? Pat Fitzgerald. Pat Fitzgerald is good. Is a good yeah. answer. Pat Fitzgerald. That's you know my who guy. I, think I, I love that guy. You know who I would take? Four and one in bowl games. And I don't one. know about his shelf life. I don't know if I trust his shelf life. I don't know if there's a more qualified, consistently winning, has never failed coach uh-huh. than a guy who right now doesn't feel like that because of what happened, you know, over the weekend, but is Jim Harbaugh. I think that's who I would want. If I had a head, if I were the Cleveland really? Brand, I really would. And, I, and the reason is... Tell me another coach in football that hasn't failed. He's never failed. The guy has never failed. Jim Harbaugh? Yeah. Is he, is he failing at Michigan? No, he's not winning titles. He's certainly not failing. He won 10 games. He was, you yeah. know, top four in the playoff pairings before the, the, the deal. Ask Urban Meyer if he's failed. Well, I, that's, that, you know, I'm just saying Nick Saban failed in Miami. Got run out of the league. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh went to the Super Bowl oh, yeah. with the 49ers. Yeah. 
He won at Stanford. Which Nick Saban didn't fail in college. No, but but <laughs> but but. I hear you. I mean, that's Stanford fine. Stanford was a dis- forget that Stanford yeah. was a disaster when Jim Harbaugh went there and and built some. I don't. I think that's just a name that we forget because of the Michigan struggles. I think he was a better NFL coach than he has been college. Um. Yes, I would agree with that. Hey, just on a side note. Uh. Well, let's do this. All right. Will Urban Meyer ever coach again, Jeff Prosser? He's fifty-four years old. Will Urban Meyer ever coach again? At any level. At any level. And I'm not talking about helping out at the high school. Okay, I'm not talking about uh, – I'm talking Coaching about – like his grandkids yeah, and uh, T-ball yeah, or something. Yeah. Will Urban Meyer ever coach again? Wow, man. My gut wants to tell me no, but my heart, my brain says – Of course says, he will. Yeah, my, yes. my, my brain says, Jeff, what? Or really? Are you going to fall on that? What about Shelly saying that I – uh, I want him done with Let coaching. Let me tell you about Shelly. Shelly loves the coaching wife life more than Urban loves the coaching well, life. I mean, not this AP story I'm reading here ah. this morning after uh, – ah. Urban won another one. Come on. I, I, I know this is relatively young, but I started young as a head coach. Meyer said after the game, very fortunate. Uh, music to the ears of Shelly. Quote, I would be ecstatic if he didn't coach again. I'm done. I want him to be done. He's too intense. So, um, Give her, give him six months around somehow, the house. By the way, <laughs> I don't know if we've done justice to this throwaway. Herb's Notre Dame is open. <laughs> I don't know if we've done justice to what Urban's I mean, ne- it's not, but I'm- next phase is. Yes where he will co-teach a course titled Leadership and Character. <laughs> how, how in the world, after this past August slash September? <laughs> Urban, should, Urban should teach the course. Leadership and Winning character. in life at any cost. Winning at all the cost, Would correct. be the better class for him to teach, wouldn't uh, it? Green is good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's the 10 minutes drill. This is Gordon Gecko. I'm Urban Meyer. All right, we will... Uh, <laughs> We will see uh, what's trending and more when we return here on a, a Cat and Chuck Accessories Wednesday. Um, we should have known how Georgia Texas was going to go last night based on a pregame scuffle that occurred. <laughs> also, caller number four right now. Caller number four if you want the uh, prize pack. Chime in, Beef, what do you got? Yeah, 641-1010. Caller number four is going to get prize pack. It includes a free entree from Sonny's Barbecue and a $20 gift card to Zips Express Car Wash with seven area locations, including Orange Park. Yes.